Okay, so in this video, we'll be going over the real and the fake Federal Signal Vipers. This one is the fake one. I don't have the real one with me. The real one's at home. But uh, this video is to show the difference between a real Viper and a, fe and a fake Federal Signal Viper. Um, there is a couple different features that you can see on the fake one. There are automatic giveaways that it is not the real one. So we'll do the unboxing video of the fake one. I do not have the real one with me, but I can still explain... Uh, the differences between the two. Um, you can get these off Amazon for 25 bucks. This is made by x -Brite. Says it's x uh, but it's still the same look of the Federal Signal Viper, and a lot of people still mistake it as a Federal Signal Viper. Doesn't have the, pic the stickers on it and everything, but it's still the same look. Um, on the side, this on a Federal Signal box is not brown, it's white. It's white, it's flatter, and the stickers on the side that shows the uh, model number, the Federal Signal logo, the um, serial number, control number, and all that stuff. So I'll unbox this one real quick. So this is the first time you're opening this box, so I, it's not taped shut or anything. So I can still, you know, I'm, what I'm seeing is what, what I'm seeing for the first time is what you're seeing for the first time. Comes with three suction cups. Uh, they're kind of, if they're like any of the suction cups I've seen on these models, the fake ones. Um, these will eventually turn yellow and look really awful. Um, has a two screws to mount the bracket to the side of the light. Comes with the U-bracket, windshield bracket, headliner bracket. Can be used for both. It's got the suction cup mounts in it. It's got the holes to mount to the dashboard, rear deck, headliner. Uh, the one that comes from Federal Signal looks exactly the same. Quality might be different, but it looks exactly the same. And then you got the light itself comes in this double wrap. Get it out of the bag here. Sorry about this, I'm using my phone, so I'm kind of one-handed. Not secure at all. They have a zip tie on there, but they didn't zip tie the cord together. So you're looking at a... Uh, this is basically what the light's going to look like. It has the same shape as the Federal Signal Viper from the profile. It looks like a Federal Signal Viper. It's got the same uh, opening in the top for airflow so the light doesn't overheat. Um, LEDs do permit heat. Uh, that's why that big metal piece is in there for the light to disperse heat where, uh, so it doesn't get trapped in the housing itself. Um, you can tell just by the look of it. I automatically know just by looking at the front of this that this is the fake Viper. Um, same design as far as the optics. It's LEDs at the top of the light facing down into a reflector and then bouncing out. Uh, Federal Signal Solaris technology is built exactly the same. It's just the LEDs are different and the, uh, the fluting in the lens is different. Um, another thing to tell you, the difference between the Federal Signal and the fake one is this button right here. Uh, the knockoff ones, the button is not recessed. The Federal Signal one is recessed into the housing of the light. It's still accessible to press for the flash pattern, but it's uh, recessed instead of protruding out. I mean, focusing issues here. There we go. Cigarette plug is exactly the same. On-off switch. Probably the same company that makes it. And then it comes with a flashback shield. It's over here in the box. And I'll snap that on real quick, and then... Uh, We'll continue the video. Okay, so there's a light with the flashback shield attached. Still looks more like a Federal Signal Viper. Um, a lot of people think, because the sticker is facing that way, that a flashback shield goes the other way, which is incorrect. It's meant to go this way so that the screening at the top is exposed to let air flow through. But the, uh, another difference you can usually tell, this one's a little bit of a quality. The plastic is pretty much the same as the real one. Um, it's a flat finish versus a lot of the knockoff ones have a gloss finish. Uh, the Federal Signal real one has a flat finish as well. Um, usually some of the cheaper ones you can find on eBay are very creaky and you can squeeze it and you can hear all the plastic creaking and it's a lot cheaper in quality. This one's actually not that bad in quality as far as the housing is. Uh, the reflector, you can also tell with that chrome that it's the fake one. It's, they're not as gaudy and flashy as this one is. So uh, I'll put the windshield of, uh, and then you have the headliner windshield bracket, which I can already tell there's going to be an issue because there's a, it's going to be flush against the light like so, and over here there's this very large gap, so I'm going to have to probably bend it to get it on. So uh, I'll put the bracket on real quick and we'll continue. And here's the light fully assembled. Uh, 
I can tell us by the suction cups, they're kind of cheesy and very thin. I don't think they're going to last very long. Um, this will be a year-long challenge of sitting on my windshield of my car, uh, compared to a Whalen Talon, to do a challenge to determine whether the $25 light will last, outlast, or beat, or compare equally to the $50 used name brand. Um, just to kind of, I guess, give a once and for all answer. But there's your design. It has two screws that go right in the side for mounting the bracket onto the light. But uh, we'll go put this out in our rescue truck right now and uh, here at the firehouse and see what it does. I've never turned this on before. I have no idea what it's going to look like. So what you see is what I'm going to be seeing. All right, stand by. All right, so here it is up in the windshield of our uh, F-350 rescue truck. Um, it's just easier to dismount it in here real quick. My car's a mess right now, so we'll go over here and we'll flip the cigarette switch. It comes out of the box with a left and right pattern, it looks like. Seems like a good enough pattern. We'll get out and see what it looks like. Alright, so it is turned on. It's, uh, the video makes it look brighter than it really is. It's not super bright. It's not awful for being the price it is, but it's still not as bright as most lighting would be. So, do a little bit further back. Yeah, it has definitely lost a lot of quality being this far back. It's barely even as noticeable out back here. I'll turn the lighting on the rest of the truck. It could be compared to a Whale Injustice and some an eight Phoenix Cobras. So we'll see how it compares to them. All right, this is comparing it to the Whale Injustice on the roof. Yeah, it's not nearly as bright as the rest of the warning lights on this truck. Even the I, granted, the rest of the whites are the like, grill lights are white and red, but the the dash light is completely washed out. The rest of the truck is way brighter. So for twenty five bucks. If you're really, 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 really desperate, I would just wait. But if you're really desperate, I guess you could use one of these, but it's not nearly as bright as the rest of the warning lights. I'll also do a flash pattern, warning, uh, flash pattern video after this one, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'll have it right after. I'll post it right after this one. All right. Well, for the next year, I'll be comparing this to the Whale and Talon on my dash, so we'll see who wins, and I'll be doing your uh, monthly updates. So, we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, just comment below. A little add on in this video. Uh, as I pull it off the windshield, I tend I notice something very odd. You can hear it, the patterns. It's clicking. It's like a. Let me see if I can get to the. Oh, there's a California pattern, so you can hear it better. That's Title 13, California. And now it's buzzing. It's humming like a ballast light in a warehouse. That's very odd. That kind of makes me nervous. I don't understand why that would be doing that. Alright, just thought I'd add that in at the end of the video. Again, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the flash pattern video and the monthly updates.